Merry Christmas Eve! As you know, we've partnered with St. Jude Children's Hospital and their Thanks and Giving campaign, and we need your help. If you're looking for a last minute gift, why not send a donation in somebody's honor? Just click the blue donate button on your screen. Thanks for being your mythical best. We gross, y'all. Let's talk about that. Good mythical special holiday episode. In years past, we're typically on break this week, right? but this year we have decided to give you another week of shows to accompany you in your Yuletide festivities. Your Yuletide, we've experienced a lot together this year, and we thought it would be fun to create some special episodes to reminisce and relive some of your favorite GMM moments from 2018 together, so all week, we're gonna take you back through an entire year of mythicality with best ofs and retrospectives. And just a quick reminder, our tour of mythicality special is available now on a wide variety of platforms including YouTube, iTunes, Amazon, and most cable TV providers. It also includes a never before seen, highly personal Very making personal. of film. So watch that with your family and friends. All right, now to kick off this special week, we're gonna get gross. <laughs> We have done a lot of disgusting and vile nonsense on this show, and usually, once we're done shooting a gross episode, we take long hot showers and scrub the experience from our memories. <laughs> but today, it all comes flooding back because we are counting down the top five grossest moments of the year as decided by you. Okay, let's see number five. Coming in at number five is a clip from the very first episode of 2018, Will It Meatloaf? Rhett and Link taste Balut meatloaf. Balut is a prime example. It is a developed or developing bird embryo, uh -uh. usually a duck, that is boiled and eaten uh. from the shell. I feel like we should have a little white flag that we can wave once a year. Uh, and I'm gonna wave it you on, day, on day, day one. one? <laughs> should I wave it on day one? No. It's a great idea. Hey, let's do that Maybe. though. Each of us has a white flag that we can wave, just in case, once a year. Shouldn't do it on day one though, so. We forgot maybe about that. Maybe the hairy part, maybe that's a really good part. Gosh, it just, it's unpleasant to run a fork through it. You just gotta be unpleasant to actually put in your mouth. Run a fork through it. Uh, I've run a fork through many a loaf, but none as heinous as this. Let's not just immediately spit it out. Everything in your body is gonna tell you to get this little baby duck out of your mouth. Right, this is a new year. Yeah. We gotta bring our A game to let the people know. That's right, it's 2018. Whether they should do this or the not. The year of the duck. Because right now, is, is this the year of the duck? Is that a thing? The mm. embryo duck. Mm, this is the year of the duck for us. Because right now you're thinking, hmm, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll get a bunch of these bullets <laughs> and I'll make a loaf. Because who knows? Maybe it'll be We great. gotta tell them that it's a bad idea or a good idea. This is this I, is public service. Three. Duck it. Two. And suck sink it. Sink it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lemon juice does help. Lemon juice is very over. <laughs> it's the idea, man. It's the idea. The it's the idea. idea. The idea is what is making me vomit. It tastes kind of like turkey stuffing. Think of a new idea. Think this of is, a new idea. This is nothing but turkey stuffing in space. Think of Sky City. You remember Sky City and Dunn, that rest, that that store that opened up next to Roses, and my mom was like, Sky City's. The new roses. They got everything. Sky City, man. Take me to Sky City. Sky City would have never gone out of business if they had a loaf bullet. Sky City was so confusing because it was on the ground. And it was in Dunn, which is just a town. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I ate it! I ate it! I'm coming, hold on. Uh, join me! I'm in the skies! I'm running from the back. I'm in the toy section right now. I'm coming. Behind me. I'm Join coming me up to the, the register. Check out counter. Come on. Come on. <sighs> you <sighs> did it! And you know what? It's gonna be a good year, Link. It was horrible. It was a good year, but I don't watch these back. Yeah. I was there for it. And now I remember why I don't. In case we didn't tell, we don't know what these are. So um, I don't know what number four is, but I forgot about the white flag yeah, people, idea. People enjoy this, huh? Why didn't we build a white flag, guys? That we yeah, could... you conveniently didn't remind us about that. <sighs> okay, I'm, white I'm flag so... is 2019. Our number four clip features Rhett and Link popping each other's pimples and eating them with Dr. Pimple Popper. As you can see, we've been pimplified uh, extremely. Oh, there's even some on your back. I, I can't. Yes. I can't make eye contact with them. Don't. Uh, but they're not full of body goo. Right. Here's the thing: they are full of nasty food goo. 
gosh. <clears throat> remember, you have to eat it. I do remember that. Gotta squeeze it first. Get like, good. she's getting into it. Come on, use your thumbs. Look. There it is. Oh! 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 <laughs> That looks like a pretty much like that looks like a real. Oh, pool. that was sure? real looking. Are you sure that's not real? Taste and see. I so everything inside of me is telling me not to do this. Eat it. <laughs> Eat it. That's a familiar feeling on this show. <laughs> what is it, Vaseline? No, that's horseradish. <laughs> <laughs> Vaseline? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you want some prime rib with that? <laughs> go big or go home. Yeah. I'm gonna start here. She's on the other it. side of it, he's got like breakdown of his skin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 You guys have this very accurate, let me tell you. Oh. That's what it looks like. Gosh. This actually is proof. This is. Oh. I hate everything now. That is it possible for me to announce my retirement? <laughs> is that it for grabs? Sure. We didn't have to not wear pants, by the way. <laughs> Wasabi. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we could have worn pants. I mean, it, everything was happening in the face. What kind of exam did we think she was going to give us? I don't know, but I, I felt so free. We should not wear pants more often. I mean, we, I, we cannot have pants on right now and nobody would know. Well, we stand up at, at unexpected moments. Yeah, and that would just be a more unexpected make it moment. More spicy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, um, that was the only episode that my wife. Showed up to set to watch happen. <laughs> Why on earth? She Not was, because she cared about Christy. Is simple. Twisted. She twisted. She likes the doctor. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's keep this going. At number three, Rut and Link are rubbing cat poop on their arms in the testing medieval hygiene treatments episode. Of course. In medieval times, yes, the restaurant and the time period, it was shape. considered beautiful for women to have high foreheads. Mm -hmm. Well, they would achieve this by applying a homemade paste to their hairline to remove whole swaths of hair. Yes, and that hair removal paste was made using vinegar and, you guessed it, dried cat dung. So we've got, we got of vinegar. Of course. And of course we have, oh. Who's, who's cat? Josh's, Josh's cat. cat? Oh gosh, I haven't even met Josh's cat. Now I'm gonna cat. rub its doo doo all over my arms. Yeah, so just crush it up with the mortar the and then we'll add the big. vinegar. Maybe it's a mountain. Make light. a nice paste. Add some vinegar to this. Yeah, Josh, you didn't dry this enough, man. Uh, your, ca your cat's got some issues. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. You dropped some right there. Uh, I've always been a horse lover. Oh, oh. God. I'm squeezing the juice out and then I'm. Oh gosh! I was this not is happy. Not, this is, there's a reason why I don't live in the medieval period. Yeah! This is stupid. I'm, I, I'm quitting. Hey man. I'm not with this. Hey, this is about testing. Listen, people nope. used to do this. Nope. Those ladies, those hot ladies put this on their foreheads. <laughs> I'm out, man. I am out. <laughs> don't you want to be a hot lady? Oh gosh, there's <laughs> juice going under the glove. <laughs> All right, now. It's hot lady juice. Let's dry it, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's somewhat drier. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at that! I've got cat dung on my forearm! <laughs> In the anointed place! <laughs> and they would put it on their Do it, man! That's even worse, man. <laughs> Hair's still hair. All of that for nothing! All of the hair is still there, man. <sighs> I still can't believe they put it on their... They put it on their... Up here! I like it's... They, well... Back in those days, they were dealing with stank in every which way. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Everything stank. Everybody stank. Everything stank. So, putting some more stank on your forehead wasn't that big of a deal. But to us modern humans, we don't deal with stank very often. We're lightweights. Coming in at number two, Rhett and Link try putting pig blood through a water filter. We heard from many of you in the comments on our first water filter video. Conclusion, you are a twisted bunch. Why did so many of you ask for pig's blood? What kind of people do you think we are? We would never, it, it, it doesn't even make sense. It's totally what we're doing. Oh God. Uh, 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 what? Oh God. What's wrong with you people? Why oh. did it get so brown? Oxygen, man. I got some on my freaking shirt. Oxygen. It stinks too. <sighs> Unfortunately, it's still pig's blood. It looks no different. 
Does it pour differently? <sighs> Doesn't pour any differently. Oh yeah, give me plenty. Don't don't <laughs> hold back. Oh, I'm like getting a headache watching this. I don't know. I got the smallest trace. It's very irony. Oh, revolt. <laughs> you know what? I got an idea for a new drink. Check this out. What? I don't remember doing that. Oh, it's a little better. Ugh. But it's it's still revolting. What was wrong with you, man? What Again, I do you? not remember uh, taking another swig. Um, these are all things that I mean. Don't you wipe all this from your mind, just like we said at the top? Yeah, I yes, I do not dwell on these things. People ask us, "What's the worst thing you ate?" And it's just like, well, I, we don't remember. It's like it's. It's it's I, that's the thing we're best at is forgetting. If, in fact, and if I you also, asked me if I had put pig's blood through a water filter, I'd be like, I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I would remember the cat poop, but I probably wouldn't remember the pig's blood. And I also, I don't think about it. I know we're going to do it ahead of time, and I don't think about it until we're it's right in front. We've of gotten me. really good at not thinking. Like sometimes they'll put stuff in front of us, and then they'll be waiting to to yeah. film, and I won't even look at it because I don't, you know. I want to concentrate the moment so that then it's easier to gather and throw away. Right. Hey, you know what? Show us something even grosser than that. Please. And the number one grossest GMM moment comes from Will It Cheesecake. In order to make cheesecake, you need okay. milk from a cow. But what if instead of taking milk from a cow, you took the digestive fluid synthesized by the cow's liver, stored in its gallbladder, and secreted into its small intestine? Yes, I'm talking about everybody's favorite <laughs> cow juice secretion, beef bile. Would you have thought this was We call worse? this one. Bile have what cheese have. <laughs> it's the worst you know what? Taste I've ever no matter seen. what happens, if we don't make it through this, it's worth it because of the name of the cheesecake. It's the color. It's is freaking gray. It doesn't stink at it all. It is a secretion. I don't. I, we haven't had secretions very much on this show. Yeah, this is a whole new world. <laughs> so here's what's in this thing: bile filling, bile whipped cream and cinnamon graham cracker crust. <laughs> Yum. There it is, so hand me, hand me a fork. Do you guys like a complimentary bile caramel drizzle? <laughs> yes, Josh. Oh, beautiful. Thanks for your table side service, Josh. No problem, thank you guys for dining with us. Now, this doesn't, it doesn't stink when I smell sorry, it. Sorry, no, it's enough, there's plenty, oh, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But we were told that this may be the worst thing we've ever tasted on the show. Oh, Stevie said worst thing we've ever tasted. Darren said at least top 10. So boy, I can't wait to get into this one. Think Number it, one. Think it. Think it. <laughs> 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 uh, that is funny. <laughs> oh God. It's not meant for human consumption. <laughs> How can that have no smell? <laughs> That's in a cow? <laughs> but it helps the cow eat its own food. You know what I'm saying? It's not the kind of thing you should be putting in cheesecake. <laughs> whose idea was this? Really, whose idea was this? Because they're <laughs> going down. <laughs> Kevin? Oh, gosh. Well. Beef bile. Will it cheesecake? No! <laughs> it's the worst pure taste we've ever tasted on this show, I think. <laughs> Pure, pure. Worst, worst pure, pure taste. taste. Uh, I lost my it, that glasses wasn't, on that now, one. That one for me like, personally was actually kind of fun to watch because <laughs> it just looks like gray cake. Right. Right? Gray pie. And right. again, I, I, I couldn't describe now what it tastes like. I have eradicated the memories. Even now that they've been brought back to me, I'm just gonna purge them again. It tasted like evil, I'm really evil good at put that. into the form of a pie. Oh, it it was goodness. just. Thank you. Sadistic. Thanks for voting. Now, uh, tomorrow, uh, come back because we're going to count down the top five BFF moments on GM. Yes. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is, but you don't know what time it is because it's present time. No wheel spin. This is a special week. And um, oh. I mixing thought, it up. I thought we could exchange presents. So uh, here's, I love a, presents. here's a present for you uh, from me that, um, of course, 
Uh, I know what it is, because I, I got it for you. I didn't ask the, the mythical crew to buy a present, wrap it, and give it to you without even telling me what it is. Right, I you would have never that. do that. Gonna love it. Gonna love it. Got it especially for you. It is brine shrimp eggs. And uh, based on the can, it's old. <laughs> yeah, it's aged, man. I, I thought you'd really enjoy some of that. It even says right here, not for human consumption. Who's it for? It says Artema cysts. What? It, yeah, it's a can of shrimp cyst, Rhett. What you've always wanted. Okay, there's a can opener over there. I think I'm gonna open it. Oh my goodness. Do it. Does anybody know what year it's from? Vintage. Vintage. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Something tells me that the studio is going to smell like Artema cysts. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. What? This is a great way to get tetanus, man. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> it's just, it's sand. <laughs> it's like the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> what? Oh, it's got a smell to it though. What? What? That's what happens after many years what? to brine shrimp eggs. Oh, it's, <coughs> it stinks. What was it at one point? Smell it. Ugh! <laughs> Seafood. Ugh! Look how clean the can gets, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you know what? Thanks, Link. <laughs> ah, my Christmas is gonna be great. I thought this was a cyst, but it's literally nothing. It's nothing. Well, happy holidays. If you missed the Tour of Mythicality, have no fear. The all new Tour of Mythicality special is here. Available now on YouTube, iTunes, Amazon, and a wide variety of platforms, including most cable TV providers.